Today we're going to demonstrate the drug exposure report on the data sources capability within Atlas. On the top left hand side you can see the function menu within Atlas and we'll click on data sources. When we click on data sources you first are able to select any of the sources of data that have been configured within Atlas and then you can select your report of interest. Here we're selecting drug exposure. Once you select the drug exposure report, you will see a tree map visualization which shows you all of the concepts within the drug exposure table. The size of the box represents the prevalence of that concept and the color of the box represents the number of records per person that that concept represents. If we hover over any particular box, we can see additional information. Here, for example, I have hovered over Lisinopril 10 milligram oral tablet. It has a prevalence of 2.56%, meaning 2.2 million patients in this data set have Lisinopril 10 mg oral tablet in the drug exposure data domain. And for those people, on average, they have 8.8 .8 records of Lisinopril 10 mg oral tablet. If I click on any of these boxes, we will identify a drill down report, which will provide additional information to characterize this particular concept within the data source. Now that I've clicked on Lysinopril 10MG oral tab, we can see the drill down report provided below. The first graph displays the concept prevalence of this concept. On the x-axis, we see time uh, in, in years, so in this particular data source going from 2002 to 2017. We have a trellis representing age deciles, going from 0 to 9 to 90 to 99. And on the x-axis, we have preval concept prevalence per 1,000 persons. Within each graph, you see two line series representing uh, stratification by gender. The line in blue represents males, and the line in pink represents females. So this graph can show us, for example, that amongst patients who are uh, have an exposure to lisinopril 10 mg oral tablet, it appears that the use of this drug has increased over time. We see that it is used more in an older population than a younger population, and it is used more in men than women. If I scroll down further, we have a plot that shows the concept prevalence by month. Here the x-axis represents calendar month. The y-axis represents prevalence per thousand persons. If I hover over any particular month, I can uh, identify information uh, such as here, June 2012, the prevalence was uh, eight per thousand persons. This allows you to assess the stability in, of the concept over time. The next plot shows us the provenance of the data represented by the type concept ID. Here we can see in the donut plot the proportion of records that have come from different sources. Here, this record for this source, 93.6% uh, of the records come from a prescription dispensed in a pharmacy, while the additional 6.4% seem to be prescriptions dispensed through mail order. The graph to the right here represents the age at first occurrence. Uh, here we see this is stratified by gender, uh, and for each of the genders um, we have a box plot. The box plot then allows us to know uh, the patient's age uh, at the first occurrence of the lisinopril 10 mg oral tab. So here we can see amongst women uh, the median age was 60 at the time of first exposure. Finally, there is a plot of frequency distribution showing the cumulative distribution of the number of records for this particular concept amongst the patients who uh, were exposed. So here we can see that uh, everybody has at least one record, but we can see that many individuals have two, three, four, all the way out to 13 uh, records of lisinopril within their medical record. The drug exposure report allows us to explore any particular concept in the drug exposure table, both by selecting any concept in this tree map view, but also by being able to explore the information in this tabular view. So if we were interested in a particular drug like hydrochlorothiazide, we could uh, search for that drug name and we would see all associated records and simply selecting a record from the table would allow you to determine the and explore the 
concepts existence in this particular data source. So for example here by selecting on hydrochlorothiazide 50 mg oral tab we can see the use of hydrochlorothiazide in the databases by those same graphs. I'm now going to select a different report, the drug error report. The drug error report provides information about the ingredients use in continuous persistence exposure. Here we are rep we are observe the same representation with a tree map visualization and a tabular display. What is different with the drug error report, however, is that drugs have been aggregated to the ingredient level. And rather than representing the number of records, we can now represent the span of time that a person is exposed to a particular drug. So if I search for lisinopril, we can now see that there is one record for the active ingredient lisinopril. We can see that there are 6 million patients in this particular data source, representing a prevalence of 7%, and that on average, patients on lisinopril were exposed for about 300 days. I can click on any record in this table to be able to get to a drill down reporting, which will provide us additional information. So here I can see the same plot of concept prevalence by age, gender, and year to see the pattern of lisinopril use. I can see a pattern of the prevalence by month. Here we see uh, spikes in the data at January, indicating that that's a moment in time where we see continuous use. And we further see a graph broken down by age at first exposure. Between the drug exposure report and the drug error report, it provides you a summary of information that allows you to understand both which concepts are occurring, how those concepts roll up to an ingredient, and how long patients are exposed for periods of time. That's all for our drug reporting in the data sources. If you have additional interest in other reports in data sources or other capabilities in Atlas, or just want to learn more about the Odyssey community, check us out at odyssey.org.